Hi, this is Janelle Martinez, and I'm here to show you how to do the tox tree analysis. It's actually quite simple once you learn how to do it, and I just want to see if I can make this simple for you. I read the manual, and basically it's a pretty straightforward technique. So I have a shortcut for the tox tree on my desktop, so I get to it quickly. And before we go into tox tree, you need to make sure that your data is uh, set up correctly and so here what I have is the spreadsheet that we've been working on with the TI for the TI pilot project and I rearranged because the smiles code has to go in column A and then the CAS number and the chemical name are optional so right now from now on you need to have the smiles code in column A and then what I did is I just copied these three columns and put them into another sp spreadsheet and then I exported it as a text. Um, if you also export it as a CSV file so you can use it in the tox tree. So that's how you set up your data first. Make sure you have your headings <coughs> and that your smiles code is in your first column. And so then we close this because we're going to go to tox tree. and open it up and I had problems with it because <clears throat> I could not run it when I was at work because they had a firewalls on the spread on the website so I'll show you where that is real quick it's because you have to go under mm, let's see where is it decision tree options and under general no options here it is you go remote query and you have to click on this you have to have remote lookup enabled to do anything. And then this and it cannot be blocked. This website cannot be blocked by your firewalls. Those are two things you need to keep in mind is, is that your remote query option is clicked. Okay, so that's under decision, decision tree options. Okay, that's where it was, decision tree options. Okay, so then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go file, we're gonna go find that spreadsheet that we just saved and I have it has um, you have to go under looking for text here it is I named it 49 with smiles and it's a text so then I'm gonna open it and you can see down here it says 1 out of 73 I'm not sure why it has 73 but you can see that it's got the chemicals loaded because you can start looking at them and see that they're all kind of different and you got your CAS number code well, I don't know, CAS number, well, they're not right, but they're the right thing because the smiles are correct. Mm. I'm not sure, but you make sure they're all in there, okay? And then you go into your method and you're going to select decision tree. And here we're doing Kramer rules, okay? And then we're going to go. to the um, toxic hazard and we're going to estimate all and you know it's done by looking at this window right here and it should tell you when it's run all of them and there it is you can see how it says Kramer rules high class 3 and then the high class 3, high class 3, low class 1. So they're all run. Okay. And then uh, you can just do your next analysis real quick while you're there. And I go to method and I do select a decision tree and I'm going to do the revised Kramer decision tree. I'm going to elect both of them to figure out which one I'm going to use. And for now, it doesn't hurt to get them both at the same time. So I click OK and then I go to chemical compounds, I mean toxic hazard, estimate all. And there, look at this. So you have your Kramer rules and your revised Kramer rules. And so now you have your data. That's it. We've done the analysis for all the ones that have smiles. The problem is for the ones that don't have smiles, but we'll deal with those later. And so now we have them. You want to save them. You can go into File, and you want to Save. And then you save it as, uh, I don't know, I'm going to do Rerun. January 25, okay. so I'm going to save it as, and make sure you save it as a CSV, comma delimited, because
because then you can open it up with Excel. And we're going to save it. So it says File Saved. And then click OK. And then you go to your Excel spreadsheet. And you're going to open it up File. Open. And you'll have to browse because you've never opened it before. When it's in my offshore MDR project, and I just did it right now. See it 212. Let's say there's 212, and that's 212. So here we open it, and there it is. Pretty. You just have to click, double click to make it wide enough, and then double click. And you have your camera rules, your vice camera rules. So then I'm just going to bold them so you know what we did. But we have all of the chemicals that just ran. And there are some that did not run. But this one is part of another name. So we're just going to delete it because it doesn't belong there. It's part of another chemical. I've run this before, so I know. But you have to make sure that all of them are there. This one, same thing. It's part of it, the name of another chemical. And as long as you have your smiles, it'll give you your, your classes for these two. Even if you don't have a CAS number, they're not as important as having that smiles. And then sometimes I copy them and it has a hyperlink. It doesn't like the hyperlinks. And so like, for example, this one has to be rerun because it had a hyperlink on it. So we know what the CAS number is. Okay. So we're going to copy it. I mean the smiles. This is smiles. We're going to go to Tox Tree. We're going to have to run that one because we got to get it. So we're going to go File new molecule and it's going to clear your list so just so you know okay clear it and click here and i'm going to do control v and i'm going to go and there it is okay and then i'm going to estimate and it says right here it's revised it's high class three so we know it's high class three i'm going to copy and paste it and then I'll go back to Tox Tree, and I'm going to change the method and just do Kramer, and then I'm going to estimate. And it's high class three, so we know what that one is. We just do Command V, paste. Okay, so we looked at it, and we got 48 chemicals. Oh, here the same thing. See, uh, it has a hyperlink, and it doesn't like the hyperlink, so we have to rerun this one. And we're going to copy, go back to Tox Tree, and we're going to go to Chemical. And it's a high class three. And then we're going to run it by Kramer's revised method. Uh, select decision tree, revised, click OK and then estimate. Oh, it's high class three. See, right here, high class three. And it tells you why. Here, because of the structure, it's an acyclic open chain structure. See, so if you know your chemistry, what causes potential problems, you'll understand that better. Uh, but I'm gonna just do, oops, high class three. So I know they're both high class three. So yeah, you have to spot check your information here. This one is invalid smiles code, I'm not sure. Oh, it's a duplicate, so we're gonna just delete this one because we don't need duplicates. Okay, so just look it over and then file, save has, and I would save it has a better descriptor um, of your project, you know, I would say. I don't know what this one is. I'm just going to call it the MDR pilot project. Pilot object tox tree results and input 01252019 and I'll put my initials and save it. And I'm going to save it as an Excel workbook so I can send it to somebody and they can edit it. And there you go. That's how you do your tox tree. And I hope this helped you. And you just got to close it up and save your results. And that's it. You ran your analysis. 
And that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll try to clarify.